Prime Minister Narendra Modi has departed for India after his two-day visit to Laos after having attended the 21st ASEAN summit. Brian on the telecast with me. Brian, uh, this has been a productive visit of the Prime Minister at the ASEAN summit. He is now returning to India. Uh, the Prime Minister spent two days over there and he has condemned the violence that has taken place in West Asia and uh, terrorism uh, that is emanating uh, in different parts of the world. Well, Mika, definitely, you know, um, even at the 90, uh, 90th uh, East uh, Asia summit also, he says, and even, uh, you know, goes on to say that the conflicts that were going on different parts of the world were having the most negative impact on the countries of global south and also goes on to say that everyone's uh, everyone wants that uh, that every whether it is eurasia or west asia there should be peace and stability that should be restored as possible and he also says that he comes from a land of buddha and he has been repeatedly saying that this is not the era of war but there should be solutions to problems that cannot come from the battlefield and also says that the most important remains is the respect of sovereignty and territorial integrity and international laws. And he also says that um, one should be keeping a humanitarian approach. There should be dialogue, diplomacy that should be given first priority and also should be fulfilling the responsibility of Vishwa, uh, you know, Vishwa Bhadu also. And India will remain also rather when you spoke about India's stance. Then he goes on to say that India will continue to contribute in every possible way in this very uh, direction. And he also, this, big, uh, this uh, 19th East Asia Summit also became becomes very important because you right. uh, spoke about the terrorism being a serious challenge to global peace and security as well. Make right, up. absolutely. Thank you, Brian. Uh, stay on with me. In fact, we are also getting more information that the Prime Minister is uh, uh, has also met his uh, counterpart from several countries including Japan, New Zealand, Thailand. Uh, in fact, uh, he has also met uh, the US Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, who is also attending the ASEAN Summit. And uh, we're getting to know that he presented uh, gifts to all the, the leaders of the states. The meeting comes uh, on the sidelines of the ASEAN India Summit. The Prime Minister gifted a silver lamp paired with the Jhalar work studded with precious stones to New Zealand Prime Minister Christopher Luxon and a silver Nakashi work peacock figurine to the Prime Minister of Japan Shigeru Ishiba. Uh, he gifted a vibrant colored low height wood table from Ladakh with intricate carvings to the Prime Minister of uh, Thailand. And those are those beautiful pictures of uh, the presents that were offered by Prime Minister Narendra Modi to the leaders of the states that he met on the sidelines of the ASEAN India summit. Brian on the telecast with me. Brian, you know, this is a, a very warm gesture that has been shown by the Prime Minister uh, that he has met these leaders on the sidelines and as a token of appreciation and stronger bilateral ties, these uh, uh, gifts that have been cherry picked to present to uh, the ASEAN leaders and the other leaders who attended the summit. Uh, well, Mega, definitely, uh, you know, it has been a uh, gesture from PM side where Prime Minister Narendra Modi has even gifted a uh, Kadam wood uh, that, was, that embossed uh, Buddha led to uh, you know Lao PDR PM even uh, you know he presented the Kadam wood color embossed Buddha head uh, to you know Sonic Sai uh, Sefa Done who is the Prime Minister of Lao PDR and this gift uh, you know if we talk about the gift also is a very masterfully crafted piece that symbolized serenity and enlightenment as well and even uh, and not just this, even he even gives uh, Patan Patola scarf to the wife of Laos Syria, uh, you know, president, and uh, he 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 and that has been meticulously you know crafted by the Salvi family from northern Gujarat uh, to Nali uh, Sisolith, uh, who is the wife of Laos Syria president uh, Thonglung uh, Sisolith, and this this um, you know, and this is not the only one. He even gifted a Buddha statue to uh, President uh, Sisolith also. So it, it has been a very warm gesture also, but from him, uh, you know, holding bilateral meeting with Laos President, you know, Thonglung Sisolith on the sidelines of the East Asia right. Summit. He has also been, you know, he has also been showing the hospitality and to the fact that a warm gesture was also, you know, contributed by the Prime Minister himself. Okay, all right. Thank you, Brian, for giving us those details. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.